Hey everybody, thanks for joining us. You know, as we shelter in place, one of the things that's on our mind, like it's not on our mind every day anyway, is gaining a few extra pounds, putting on some extra weight because we're spending so much time at home. And I can speak for myself, I know that my trips to the kitchen, to the refrigerator are a little more often than I would like to admit. So we have brought in a professional trainer, Rambir Sangera, and he is with San Jose Barbell, and he knows all about this stuff. And I love it that you have like, what I consider like a real life approach to not only getting physically fit, but you know, how do you lose weight in a good way that you're going to keep it off and you're going to be able to sustain it. So thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me. All right. So have you been hearing it so far, like from your clients or people you work with about that worry about right now that they're gaining extra weight? Well, luckily for our clients, like this is something that we always talk about anyway. So, you know, our clients are doing great. Uh, they've been prepared. <laughs> they've heard this from us, you know, from from the moment that they kind of start to work with us is that we have to do it in a way that's enjoyable. And uh, if it's not enjoyable, you're not going to do it, you know. So, uh, but I have heard it from everybody else. Like, I put on the quarantine 15, as I've heard. <laughs> quarantine 15. I love it. Okay, so what we're going to talk about specifically today, because when you told me this, I was like, I don't know how believable it is, but burritos, losing weight. You're saying that um, you can eat burritos together. every day and you can lose weight. Is this a real thing? Are you trying to scam us? No, nope, 100%. <laughs> so this is why I am known in some circle as the little burrito boy. Uh, but yes, you can eat burritos and lose fat. In fact, you can eat multiple burritos every day and lose fat. Um, and the reason that works is because uh, as far as fat loss goes, the number one variable is calories so you know i really try to emphasize this for clients is like there is no good food or bad food like eating a donut is not going to make you fat eating a burrito is not going to make you fat but if you eat you know too much you will gain fat the the biggest culprit is like people think nuts are healthy nuts are loaded with calories so yes like if you know how to construct the right burrito you can lose fat and I guess it's probably something we kind of have to work out in our minds because, you know, you think donut, you think bad food, you think burrito, oh, that must be packed with calories. But, but you're saying this is something sustainable, that you can make it work as long as you're paying attention to the details. Yeah, 100%. So if it's, if it's not sustainable in my book, then it's not success because anybody can lose 15, 20 pounds really quickly you know, and, but my question is like, if you can't keep up those things that you were doing, then is it really success? Because you're going to gain it all back. So, you know, if you have to make it sustainable. So the question with that becomes, how do I make it sustainable? Well, you have to, you have to incorporate foods that you enjoy. And, you know, that just goes back to my first point is like, well, you, once you believe and actually, you don't even need to believe it. You just have to try it. Once you understand that calories are the number one component for weight gain or weight loss, you, your whole world opens up, you know? So then you can eat all the foods that you enjoy. You don't need to restrict anymore. There we are, mind over matter. So this next um, point that you want to make is like making it your own. And in this case, we're talking about burritos. How do we make burritos our own? How do we own those burritos? Well, so... One is, you know, when you go out and uh, you get a burrito from, I don't know, where's your favorite uh, burrito stand Chipotle, or burrito Chipotle, I'm truck, a Chipotle right? person. Or, or Chipotle. Um, you never quite know how many calories are in that burrito. Um, and then secondly, people add things. When you don't understand calories, you add things that just skyrocket your calories. So a burrito that would have been delicious and within your calorie range ends up being 1500 calories, 2000 calories. That's the amount of calories that is going to be uh, appropriate for most adults anyway. So now you've eaten all your calories for the day. What are you going to do for the rest of the day? So, you know, when you make it your own and you make it, you start to learn these things. Like you can find out that you can make burritos in a way that's super calorie friendly and super delicious. So the thing that I kind of consider when I do that is like, um, learn um you know one is like get quality ingredients so like if i if i'm using chicken like i want good chicken and i, I want to know how to cook it correctly um i don't want to add 
you know, unmeasured amounts of oil to cook it, or you don't actually need this much sour cream for the burrito to taste good. Like if you really need sour cream, maybe measure it out like one tablespoon, two tablespoons, and you'll still get the flavors, right? Without all the calories. Or you might realize, oh wow, like a burrito is still pretty good without sour cream and just, you know, dripping in calories. So what do you say to the person that's like, well, it's just so much easier if I can go to my favorite, you know, taqueria and get my burrito. I don't want to have to make it myself. Is that just part of being lazy and that's part of that mindset that you have to change? Yeah, I, I think, you know, investing in skills that will pay you for life is valuable in any area of life, right? Like if you want something that's worthwhile, then is it going to hurt to spend a couple weeks learning how to cook? And honestly, like, it actually doesn't take that long to learn how to cook. Like a few, you know, days of learning the basics, like you could go online and find all kinds of cooking classes where they'll teach you the basics. Right. So, um, yeah, Hey, you can go to the taqueria and, and, you know, try to make this work, but you won't know how many calories are in what you're in, what you're making. So, you know, it's, it's not going to last again, it's not going to last. It's not going to be accurate. So, it's, you know, your decision, but when you learn that the main ingredients for cooking, you know, heat, time, and spices, and when you know how to cut, you know, because a very basic thing is like, do you know how to cut? Do you know how to hold a knife? You can learn that in like 10 minutes. And once you've got that skill, you begin to enjoy cooking. And what other benefits happen when you cook your own food? You're going to save tons of money, number one. Like, everybody wants to save money, so do that. Number two, you know the exact quantities of calories going into your food. You're not guessing, you know, like I have no idea how much oil they used at, you know, Super Taqueria as much as I love their burritos. But when I make it myself, I do know. So yeah, like you, you got to make that choice. Do I want to do this correctly and, and learn to fall in love with this process? Or do I kind of just want to be lazy and, you know, that's okay, but know what comes with making that decision. Well, now that you've got us hungry talking about losing weight and burritos, give me an example, paint the picture. What is a burrito that you make that you've used or that your clients have used and have effectively lost weight? So, okay. So this is the origination. This is like my go-to it's number one, it's fantastically delicious. Uh, but number two, it's like, it's the, it's my gold standard. Okay, I judge everything off of this. So number one, your tortillas. You have to get real tortillas. Don't buy the fake, you know, plasticky tasting tortillas. If, you, if there's going to be a place where you spend some calories, spend it on the tortilla, okay? <laughs> uh, my personal favorite, <laughs> La Rosa tortillas. Anybody in California can get those. Um, second thing, quality meat. Like, make sure you get good quality meat because it does make a big difference in taste. Um, and you know, so that's something that I, I will spend a little bit of money on. I usually go with chicken or you could go with, um, you know, a leaner ground beef. So those are my two options there. More, more of the times I go with chicken. Then the third ingredient, a lot of people don't know about this. All right. is potatoes and you don't need a ton <laughs> of potatoes, one ounce of per burrito goes a very long way. Um, and then, you know, the, the spices, this is a top secret. No one knows about this. This will never be released again. Garlic salt, black pepper, a little bit of oregano. That's it. That's all you need. You make it sound uh, so easy. Yeah. Oh, last thing. You have to have good salsa. Do not buy... Say. Yeah, like you got to get real. I'm I'm spoiled. My in-laws are are, you know, from Mexico, so they make all their own amazing, you know, chilies and salsa. So, uh, but you know, get a good salsa. Well, Rambert, I want to thank you for sharing some of those burrito secrets with us and and really explaining how it's it's more of the calories and paying attention to those calories than the actual foods we're eating. Although any too much of too much of anything is going to be a bad thing if you're not paying attention. How can people catch up with you, keep up with um, some of your tips and some of your burrito and and other wisdoms? <laughs> <laughs> the burrito wisdoms, yeah. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Rambeer Sangera, or on YouTube, uh, Rambeer Sangera and um, I'm, we're always sharing, uh, practical 
uh, advice on there pretty much every day. So. All right. Well, I wish you the best as we continue to shelter in place, but hopefully it won't be too much longer. And, and maybe I'll take you up on the burrito suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Take care.